guys and welcome to DTWG the prep welcome so in today's video we're going to find learning how to find the area of a parallelogram okay so we have a parallelogram like this okay and uh, before we get on to getting this um, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel you can check our website for summary notes study guides uh, free practice questions, even your GED math formula sheets. It's all on the in the website, but I'm going to leave the direct links to all resources you need. You can also join our Facebook group, which we're over, I think, 11,000 now. Yes, 11,000 members in our community to support you, motivate you. There are several resources there, you know, to ask about the GED, your area, and all. Okay, please like, give this video a thumbs up, and also share and subscribe. Okay. So now, onto this video, we had to find the area of the parallelogram. Using your GED math formula sheet, which will always appear in your GED test, you can just quickly open it. You know, you don't need to cram formulas. You know, people do ask in the group, do you have to cram formulas? No, you don't need to cram formulas during your GED math test. All formulas that you're going to need are going to be in the GED math formula sheet. That's your official one. Which is on the website for you to download okay so um you don't need to start cramming or bothering yourself on cramming formula so all you need to know is the concepts you know like the formula for the area of the par parallelogram is a is equal to your base times height so what you need to know is how to identify your height and how to identify your base you can see here you're given three values right so don't get confused this is the base Fe is the base, it is the base, why your height here is, is what, 5 cm. You don't need this to solve this question. You can see they've confused you. If you mistakenly use this and this, you will find your answer in the option, which is wrong. Okay, so this is your base and this is the height. So to get the area of this parallelogram, your base is 8 cm times your height is what five centimeter so we're going to have what 40 centimeter square so this will be the answer all right thank you and don't forget that jesus christ is coming soon give your life to christ for he's the way he's the truth he's the life he's the one who's going to lead you to heaven at last and also give you that life here heaven on earth thank you He's waiting for you and see you in our next video.